Christmas Eve from Epcot. Mr. Peter, you are good to go. Thank you, Kathy. Come on in. So all of this ground is new, and the plants are new. The boy is doing great. Cozy as can be on, the his, boy. on his first Christmas Eve. We promised James that we would go on this next time at Epcot. Five minute wait. Explorers, it's time to go! What if Nemo's swimming out the sea? That's jellyfish! Why didn't you drop by for a little bite? Rogers! 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 Oh my gosh, that's really like a marlin and a Nemo. A big one and a small one. And oh, and Dory! Like, and they're like brushing against the anemone to make sure it doesn't sting. Oh my god. <laughs> they decorated for Christmas. The seahorses have a tree and candy cane. Nap time. They got a candy cane. These Christmas decorations are such like unexpected magic. So graceful. We got 2021 merchandise going on. Big old truck. Oh, a Skyliner. Shirts on shirts on shirts. It's kind of a cute little hat. I love a good cutoff when you can still tell what what it's saying. Coffee mugs, cranes, backpacks. All kinds of photo albums. That's cute. Ooh. And ears. I abandoned Sarah because I'm gonna run over to Mouse Gears and see if there's something I wanna pick up there for Sarah last minute. So I know there's at least one thing over in the World Showcase that I wanna pick up for Sarah for tomorrow. But this is just like a kicker if I can find it here at Mouse Gears. If not, not the end of the world, but fingers crossed. So Peter is running into Mouse Gears real quick to get like the holiday in this park with how windy it is I should have brought my hat um, the piece wasn't there so I don't know if we will grab it before tomorrow I think last to effort we would be stopped by Disney Springs on the way home but I don't know if that's feasible so we'll see not the end of the world if I don't find it so I just get it later so it's just gonna be a kicker for me but I'll keep an eye out still I gotta go find her also, he is still sound asleep. Keeps making a noise every once in a while, but still cozy as could be. Merry Christmas!
are in Baby Care Epcot, which I thought we went to before, but we only went to the medical side. Mm -hmm. This is the nursing room. It's kind of like Magic Kingdom. It's a nursing side and a changing side. So here's the nursing nursing side. All right, so it's like a community area. Yeah, yeah those are rockers. The boys just left to go to the changing room. Um, we have actually been here longer than we expected to be, but James was kind of showing signs that his tummy was hurting. Um, so I was nursing him, just kind of keeping him relaxed and hopefully hoping that it worked its way out because he was, he was showing that he was uncomfortable. Um, but then he definitely relieved himself. Um, and so Peter went to go change him. So, and then after that, he was smiling so sweet. Like you could just tell that he was in all that discomfort. And then the second it was over, he was like cooing and talking and just like almost, it was like comical how quickly it went from not happy at all to just the happiest little sweetie pie. So once they get all situated, I think we're gonna head out. My baby boy. He's cute little outfit. I mean, he's worn this before. It was the first time he wears little pants with suspenders. You're cute. <laughs> he's like, that was traumatic. You ready to go home, see your puppy, watch Christmas movies? And you have presents from Grandma. <gasps> First you get to presents. open today. Yay. He's sleeping? No, he's open now. Okay. He James? really has his eyes like open when we're out and about, so. He looks like such an old man. man. Looks like Space Earth just reopened from a cleaning, so there's literally nobody in queue. And James is out and about. Yeah. Did we do it? Yeah. James is about to get schooled. Literally. Please take small children. Not figuratively. I mean, stop momentarily. You ready, Would James? You Remain seated at all times. What the heck? During your slow moving journey, your time machine will slowly rotate backwards. This is Mommy's favorite scene. So I was in the car with James and my Disney Springs. Guess what? They had what I needed. I'm so happy. All right, time to get back to the car. Get home. Yes. Yes. I might be done Christmas shopping now. Woo. I got Sarah a classic poutine. Now I just got to rush to the car and get it to her. We're home. I have all of Sarah's gifts except for one that's coming in the mail. He's starting to wake up from his nap. Ooh, stretches. And we have Michael Scott in the background warning James of all life's troubles. And Sarah's getting started on the delicious, delicious, delicious dinner that already smells good and all it's done is burn my eyeballs from onion in the air. So for dinner, I am making red sauce and just normal ronies, like rigatoni. My family calls them ronies, like macaroni, but we just shorten it to ronies. Basically anything in red sauce is ronies. Um, I guess that's not totally true because lasagna, sometimes it's separate. Usually if it's red sauce and some kind of noodle, it's Roni's. So that just got started. And then I'm also baking sausage and peppers. I will show it to you once I add the peppers and onions in right now. The sausage is just baking right now. It'll bake for a while. I'm gonna kind of play it by ear because I got my mom's recipe. Um, However, we are using Beyond Brand Sausage, so it really doesn't have to cook as long as normal, like actual meat, because it's plant-based meat. So I'm just gonna keep an eye on it. Um, right now it's got garlic and oregano, salt, pepper. 
and then it is topped with some water and veggie stock and yeah I'm gonna kind of taste it and see if I need to add anything else to it um, but we're gonna have those on buns and then I'm also going to make just a classic salad which is romaine lettuce tomato onion red wine vinegar olive oil salt pepper garlic and oregano so that is the three things that we're gonna have for dinner very much so tradition for our family um, so a lot of it it does like have to cook a decent amount of time and we knew that we would be getting back later so we're gonna be eating later um, but like Peter said like the apartments already smelling super super yummy I have the meat and the onions and the garlic all ready to go so I'm gonna start adding in all the tomatoes for the sauce alrighty there's the base I ground up some of the sausage and then I also left bigger chunks of sausage in there so we'll see ya in a little bit sauce here's my friend Amy there are my other two friends dinner's cooking almost ready to eat so we are impatient so the sauce is going to keep on cooking but we are going to just eat it on ronies as is i mean it's been cooking for like an hour we just wanted to cook for like another hour i whipped up some quick garlic bread on the left and then here's the sausage and pepper baked that still has to bake for a while so we're gonna do a couple of courses check out what i got at publix you can get four of these bad boys for less than the cost of one at Germany, but it just doesn't feel the same as when you get it from Germany. Jamesy boy is resting up for opening presents, I guess. Also, I don't know if we've mentioned it or not, but we are having a movie marathon, and we started it with The Grinch. Sorry if you've never seen this movie, and that was just like a big plot point that I ruined for you. Next movie up is A House Without a Christmas Tree. A Ryan household classic. I'm going to be dipping out on part of this movie to start uh, to continue wrapping Sarah's gifts for the big day. It's 9.15. I have the last gift for Sarah to wrap and then we're going to swap out. Here's some of the stuff over here. Check this. <laughs> Ridiculousness. Hashtag go green. Hashtag save mother. Hashtag to Sarah love Peter. I just had an extra piece of wrapping and uh, it got around most of it. So I covered it with those hashtags. Maybe I'll go viral. And these stickers. I went ridiculous again. I used a Disney bag to wrap this box. But I tried to make it really pretty on this side. The back side. If I had like a exacto knife, I would have cut it so it could be straight and everything. But instead I just yanked it back and taped it up. Christmas wrapping is done for the year. We got Elf on now. Yeah. So we're finally eating our sausage and pepper sandwiches, and I'm gonna have some salad. <laughs> Sarah needs some vegetables in my life. <laughs> no, Sarah makes a mean. Did you make like your your traditional salad? Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, it's gonna be so good. I got this sweet boy with me, and look how cute he is holding my arm. I haven't mixed it up yet, but this is one of my favorite foods. Just eating a salad before it's mixed with like all the spices on the tomatoes, like just super flavorful. We really think we're doing it tonight. We're rocking some double crust apple pie on some spode dishes now. I don't know, we keep eating all this food, we're not, it's gonna make it hard to stay up late <laughs> and finish what we gotta finish. Short deviation from our, our list of movie marathons to do Olaf's Great Adventure, which has just held a special place in my heart for the past year, especially now. That's one of our favorite quotes of this whole movie. We're topping it off with Miracle on 34th Street. All right, we've got Santa's cookies out and our awesome spode. Look at Santa's holding a spode glass of milk. Spode with a spode glass of milk. Got some almond milk, cookies for Santa. We can't let up forget the reindeer. This is our Mickey and Minnie. Got some, some cherry tomatoes, some apple, and some lettuce. They need their fuel too. They're, they're hauling this guy around with all the gifts. The last thing we're gonna do as Sarah gets James in pajamas and gives him a late night snack, we're gonna read the night before Christmas, before we go to bed and await Santa's arrival. But I heard him exclaim, there he drove out of sight, Merry Christmas to all.
and to all a good night. Oh my goodness. Look at this big kid. He got these jammies and this Rudolph from Grandma. He also got an outfit for tomorrow from Grandma. And surprise! It's Grandma who is coming this weekend to visit. My mom will be here Saturday. And we're very excited. Look at how cute this guy is. It's a long one. The 24th. The plain fact is that the planet does not need more successful people, but it does desperately need more peacemakers, healers, restorers, storytellers, and lovers of every kind. It needs people who live well in their places. It needs people of moral courage willing to join the fight to make the world habitable and humane. And these qualities have little to do with success as we have defined it. David W. Orr. It's good to be home. It is good to be home. Do you Merry feel, Christmas. Do you feel special? I feel extra, extra, extra special. Yeah. I am so excited for tomorrow's just home, cozy home. We know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish, and believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>